Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we're reacting to my Asia World Cup qualifier prediction for the second round, guys. The qualifiers just ended today. So I'm going to be looking into all the groups, man, giving you guys my quick thoughts, seeing how it aged and up. Yeah. If, you, if you're new on here, guys, hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button, guys. You guys know this is a channel for World Cup qualifier coverage on here. And yeah, we're going to have a big stream tomorrow. We'll be discussing about uh, World Cup. We're going to be reviewing all the confederations, you know, Condable. It's not a Condable. Cap, AFC, and um, CONCACAF. So enjoy me for that. Anyways, let's start with the actual video. So I'm going to I'm gonna wait for each group segment to finish, and then I'll give you guys my reaction to what I said. So group A we have here is Qatar, India, Kuwait, Afghanistan. I'm predicting just top two, by the way, so I'm not going to, you know, rabble on too much about the third and fourth because that doesn't really matter. One thing's for sure is that Qatar will top this group. Even though they have they were abysmal in the World Cup, I still feel like Qatar is a very good nation against Asian nations, and that is what they thrive against. So they're still, I still think they're going to do it. Now for second place, it was very tricky. It came down for me between India and Kuwait. And I just give the slight edge to India. I just feel like for me, India, for me, while they may not have, I, I think Kuwait actually probably have the better team, to be honest with you. I think India have the better players. And I just feel like for India, they have to show up now. It is now or never. Because if they don't do this, it's over, man. It is over for me in terms of their World Cup aspirations. Because remember, guys, this could be Sunil Chetri's last international tournament. And this could be monumental for India. And I'm really hoping India can do this. I'm really, really hoping they can. And I think this will be a great opportunity. I'm going to go with them just about to do this, though. Because we know they are te they tend to disappoint in the last couple of years. Next up is Group B, guys. Okay, so I got Qatar correct top, which was expected. I mean, that's not too surprising. Now, second, I went for India. And India messed up, man. India, man, messed up. They, they messed up against Afghanistan. Only getting one point from two games. And then, obviously, they had their controversial game today against Qatar, which I'm not going to get into much in this video. But, um, yeah, I mean, for India, man, they really blew it, man. They really blew it when they did against Afghanistan. They should have not. They sh The fact they only got one point out of two games is terrible. Uh, and I have to give credit to Afghanistan. Afghanistan did a lot better than I expected. They really did put push well in this group because I was thinking that nah, they're not going to do much in this group. But they actually surprised, surprised me and did a lot better than I expected. So shout out to Afghanistan. I hope they can qualify for the Asian Cup. And for Kuwait, they finished the second place. Uh, Kuwait, uh, even though they did it, I feel like they weren't really that great. Honestly, they weren't, and they only it only it kind of feels like they just got here because of the fact they did the double over Afghanistan. That's the only reason why. Because had they not done the double, they probably don't make the next round. So, but credit to Kuwait. As much as I don't really want to give them that credit, they have you have to give them credit. And yeah, man. So. It is what it is, and shout out to Kuwait, man. They proved me wrong, so, yeah. Let's move to the next group. Oh, sorry, Group B. Uh, we have here, it is um, Japan, Syria, North Korea, Myanmar. For me, Japan should top this group, no questions asked. They were the best Asian nation at the World Cup. I don't even think I have to explain. They're just way too good. It's, the players they have on their team is unbelievable. At uh, the second place, I have a Syria. I think Syria, for me... Or a good World Cup quality level. This team knows how to get to the last stage, and we saw how good they were in the um, the World Cup qualifiers. So um, I just feel like for me, they have enough quality to reach the final round. Okay, and for North Korea, Myanmar, they're gonna fall short. Groups. Okay, what I did to okay, let me start with saying this: Japan first. That was easy. That was not too surprising. Now second, I went for Syria, and man, Syria should have done it. They blew it. Syria blew it, man. And when they blew it away to Myanmar is what cost me. Obviously, they can. you can also bring up the fact they lost to North Korea away as well. And the thing with North Korea is that they're really tough to beat at home. And they're a nation that don't concede a lot of goals. That's why I've noticed with uh, North Korea is that they tend to keep their games very tight and very close. So I have to give respect to North Korea because they proved me wrong massively. I was very disrespectful. I didn't even... Can put them in consideration for third. I was like going for like, okay, Syria should get second automatically. But this is the beauty with Asian qualifiers is that upsets gonna happen, and we just saw an upset right there. So yeah, shout out to North, uh, North Korea, man. Uh, and they proved a lot of people wrong. And now, best of luck to them in the final round, man. Best of luck because North Korea may be a nation a lot of people want, but may not be a nation you want to play against because of how difficult they are. 
Anyways, let's move to Group C. Group C, we have South Korea, China, Thailand, and Singapore. For me, South Korea, should, with no question, should be top in this group. They are way, way too good for this group. They are, they have too much individual players. I like I can the players they have is ridiculous. You know, the quality of players they have it is simply too good. As for second place, for me, it's between China and Thailand. Singapore for me, I would love to see them do it. I just think for me, Singapore for me, I don't think they have the individual quality. And I feel like for me, they tend to struggle against. I was kind of disappointed how they did in the first round against Guam. So I think Singapore could do better. But, um, you know, that's why I don't think they'll do it. For me, I'm going to give the slight edge to China. And the reason why I give it to China is be, even though China have been really, really underwhelming the last couple of years, I still feel like those players for China will still, will still come crucial. And I feel like for me, Thailand is going to come very close. I just feel like for me, China will have the individual quality over Thailand in that regard. And that's why I think China will pull through in second place. Group D, we have Oman, Kyrgyzstan, Malaysia, Chinese, Japan. All right. So um, South Korea, got that correct. Spot on. I don't think I need to explain that much. Justify that pick. As second place, I went with um, This was a very close one between China and Thailand. And I believe us in the video, I went with China because they have the better players. And honestly, as much as I should be happy with this prediction, I feel like I shouldn't have got this one right. Because Thailand, for me, were better than China for, like, the qualifiers. It's just that Ch it's just that Thailand didn't get a... They got only one point against China, which is what let them down, ultimately. If they had picked up... If they hadn't lost the game at home and got a, a win away, then it would have been fine. Because they did, the, they did the double over Singapore. They got a draw against South Korea. China just only got here because of head-to-head, -head, guys. They only got to the next round because of head-to-head. -head. They, they, it was very close. And honestly, for me, China were very disappointing. They tied away to Singapore. Guys, China is mid, guys. China is weak. I'm sorry. Like, I don't I don't see much hope for China. The only thing I see going for China is Wu Li. And besides Wu Li, nothing else. So, I mean, where would China be without Wu Li? That's a good question. Because honestly, guys, I'm going to say this right now. If China didn't have Wu Li, they probably don't make it through in second place. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it right now. I, I, I am saying it right now. Anyways, let's move to Group D, man. Group D. So I got two correct ones. So my first perfect group. I think Oman should, without a doubt, top this group. They were um, fantastic. I believe they reached the last stage, the Asian World Cup qualifiers last time, and they were fantastic. And remember, they beat Japan a 1-0 away. Uh, for this one, guys, I'm going to go with upset. I think Malaysia will do it just about. I have not been that impressed with Kyrgyzstan. I think they've kind of declined the last couple of years, and I think Malaysia, for me, they are on the rise of football, and I was really, really impressed what they did in the last World Cup qualifying cycle. And I think Chinese Tepe will just be there to make up the numbers. Sorry to say. Um, group E, we have here is Iran, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Hong Kong. For me, Iran. Okay, so um, as for this one, I got this one correct. Um, well, actually, no, I, I messed up here because I predicted Oman to top the group, which, you know, is not surprising. And then I went for second is Malaysia. And, man, Malaysia were close, man. Malaysia were close. But I think what let Malaysia down was that the fact they didn't get a single point against, oh, I think it was like uh, Oman. That's what ultimately let them down. And that's what's going to mess them up because oh, I think Oman did the double and I think Oman tied the final match day against Kyrgyzstan. So, yeah, it's tough luck for Malaysia because I thought they played well. They were very unlucky, but it's just that Kyrgyzstan, man, they just did enough and they scraped through. And, yeah, it is what it is. And, obviously, Kyrgyzstan also getting revenge against Malaysia also uh, proved crucial. And, yeah, so... I feel bad for Malaysia because they're only one point away, but that's just how football is. So, tough luck, man. Tough luck. Without a doubt, should be top in this group. They are one of the best Asian nations, and I expect them to fully do so. As for second place, I'm going to go with Uzbekistan. I think Uzbekistan have too much quality. I think they're a very underrated Asian nation. I think people need to respect them more, and I think they have good players, man, that can come to the rise of the occasion. As for Turkmenistan, Hong Kong, I think they'll disappoint. Group F, man, this... Okay, so that one I got two for two, correct? I mean, it's not really too much surprising. I don't think uh, that's too much surprising. Yemen, Yemen uh, no, sorry, Turkmenistan and Hong Kong were simply just not good enough. So I don't even think I need to explain that one too much. In my opinion, it's a group of death. This is the group of death, guys. And I'm going to be really looking forward to see how this group pans out. Because this one, for me, any of these four teams could honestly genuinely progress. I don't think there's a team that's going to be there as a whooping voice or just, you know, just there to make up the numbers. I think Iraq, without a doubt, show, though, should be top of this group. They have too much quality players, and I think they should do this. As for second place, and this is where I'm going to pull out a major surprise, and some of you guys might even be surprised I'm saying this. 
and might think I'm crazy for saying this. I'm going to go with Indonesia to pull through to second place. I feel like for me, Vietnam is the favorites to do so. I just feel like for me, Indonesia is going to surprise. They're gonna, it's going to be a big surprise, big, big upset. And who knows, maybe even Philippines can do it. I'm going to go with Indonesia, though. Somebody just tells me they're going to they're gonna rise. And for me, Indonesia have the best chance from the nations from round one of the Asian qualifiers. Group G for me, I think so. So I got this one correct. I got Iraq, uh, Iraq first. I'm happy with that pick. Well, obviously, that was an easy pick. And the Indonesia guys, I actually picked Indonesia to uh, to, uh, to come through. And I, I'm, I'm happy with this prediction because I just thought Vietnam was kind of going down. I wasn't really convinced what Vietnam did in the qualifiers. I was like, eh. And, you know, there's usually some upsets of qualifiers in Asia. So I feel like Indonesia was a fair pick. And they actually did it. So I'm happy with this one. I'm happy I got this one correct. And I even called this before the Asian Cup, which I think is crazy. So I'm very happy with this prediction. Uh, we have Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Tajikistan, Pakistan. For me, without a doubt, Saudi Arabia should be the top of this group. They have too much quality players. And then I'm going to go with Jordan in second place. I think Jordan should be able to do it. They have so many. They have good European-based players playing in Europe, I believe. All right, and the group H, the penalty. Yeah, so I got um, so this one I got the t two correct, Saudi and Jordan. Although I messed up with the order, Jordan actually topped the group, and Saudi came in second. So I think this is one of the few groups where I actually messed up with the order. Um. But yeah, I mean, it, it. I mean, shout out to Jordan, man. Jordan's been the rise; they have been improving, and and we'll see, man. I would love to see Jordan in the World Cup, man. I would love to see Jordan in the World Cup, and they're in pot three for the third round draw, which is quite insane with that victory over Saudi, because I think they would have been in pot four if they didn't win. So, shout out to them. Ultimate group we have here is UAE, Bahrain, Yemen, and Nepal. I think UAE, without a doubt, should be top of this group. They have too much quality. Um, to do so, and they have a very good goal scorer named Ali Makbout. He's a top international goal scorer, so I think he'll do it. And although I will say that, though, I think the team is they need to get some more younger players. That is kind of one concern I do have for them. Uh, then I think Bahrain will pull through in second place. I just think they're a very underrated Asian nation. I think they could always give a good fight in the Asian Cup, as we've seen. Uh, the finally group I we have here is Bangladesh. This is obviously my country's group. I'm sorry to say, with Bangladesh guys, we are not fit. We are finishing last. All right, sorry, I, I did full screen there, uh, but yeah, let's go. Let's go back. So we got, so I I got this one correct. U UE and Bahrain, not too much surprising. Now let's go look at uh, this group. Let's see which I predict is last in this group. I don't think we're gonna do it, um, and I think we'll be uh, very disappointing. Australia for me should top in this group though. They have way too much quality, um, and I think they should be able to do it. And for me, second place between Palestine and Lebanon. This was very very close, guys. Very, very close, and I'm very, very torn for which team I put in second place. Ultimately, though, I'm gonna go with Lebanon because for me, I think Lebanon for me just have the have the quality. And even though I feel like they haven't been that great and they kind of lucked out the last time around, I just feel like for me, they they they're just gonna scrape through somehow. And for Palestine, I just feel like for me, with the political situation going on at the moment, I don't even know how the country will fare and that kind of stuff. And even though they have some good players playing in Europe, I just feel like, for me, Palestine is going to let themselves down. But we'll see, though, because it's very, very close. And I don't even know at the time of this recording this video how, well, like, how will, like, will Palestine be able to still play their games? I don't, I don't know. I don't want to get too political, though. So, you know, please keep this sports-related in the comments below. I greatly do appreciate it. And, yeah. So, anyways, those are my predictions for the... All right, so I got Australia first, which was no surprise. That was easy. And the second place, I went for Lebanon over Palestine, which I think is a terrible decision I made. Um, I want to sincerely apologize to my Palestinian friends for not believing in you guys. And, yeah, Palestine, for me, deserved to advance. Lebanon were simply poor. They messed up. And the fact that Lebanon got a draw away to Bangladesh, and obviously I'm happy as a Bangladesh fan, but it is bad. It ultimately cost to Lebanon, and they just simply had too many draws. And even though, uh, and yeah, I think Palestine for me, they played well. They deserve to come through, and they're on the rise. And Lebanon for me, they, they their attack is so bad. Their attack is so bad. And for Palestine, man, that Dabak striker is fantastic. He's a fantastic striker. So anyways, that is it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. So I actually ended up getting 14 out of 18 correct. So uh, that's actually pretty solid. So let me actually get my calculator real quick um, and actually uh, do that. So let me see where my calculator app is. So 14 out of 18. So if you do the math here, that's like 77%. So, you know, it's like a C, uh, like a high C-ish. And that's, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Most of the teams were pretty uh, predictable, to be fair. 
Uh, but there are a few surprises, and that's what makes Asia World Cup qualifiers surprising. So fun, enjoyable. So, and a, a few uh, in a few weeks' time, I might do like a video going over, um, like maybe we'll do a mock draw. Uh, maybe we'll do like a tier list uh, with my friend, and then potentially I might do a mock draw as well. We might do a tier list on a mock draw. I'm trying to see if I could do it with a guest, and I'll try to do that with you guys next week because I believe the draw is on June 27th. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe, and peace out.